guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week of what's for dinner if you're new here hello and welcome i am taylor i share these what's for dinner videos every week to hopefully give you guys some motivation and some meal ideas if you haven't already i would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below so that you can come back and see my future videos this week's what's for dinner is a collab with my friend Brittany. i have watched her videos for a very long time, like years. We were both in the YouTube mommy meetup group together and that's how I found her channel. And I just love how real life her videos are. She just shows very real stuff. And her channel name is Sharing Our Life. And I hope that you guys will go over and check out her what's for dinner. I know that you guys will love her just as much as I do. Now let's go ahead and get into this week's meals. It is Friday and tonight for dinner we're going to be having some salmon and some broccoli and then I'm also going to be making some instant pot mac and cheese. So to start off I've got my salmon and my broccoli here on my pan. My oven is preheating to 425. This will cook really fast. It's going to take like 20 minutes. And I'm going to brush some oil on my salmon, coat my broccoli in some oil. I'm going to use some olive oil and then I pulled out some Slap Your Mama some badia and some lemon pepper and i'm going to put a little bit of all of those on both of these and then get that in the oven Okay, for the mac and cheese, I've got my Instant Pot. This has quickly become my favorite recipe for mac and cheese just because it's so easy, besides like baked mac and cheese. Baked mac and cheese is definitely better, but this is really, really good. So to start off, I'm going to dump in one box of noodles. I'm using a shell today. You could use elbows. I've used penne. Just one box of whatever you wanna use. Next, I'm gonna dump in four cups of broth. This is water and the nor chicken bouillon that's what i like to use you could just use chicken broth you could just use water but i definitely think using some sort of broth is best then i'm going to add in two tablespoons of butter i'm going to add in some salt it doesn't need too much since that bouillon is pretty salty some pepper and then I'm gonna add in some garlic powder and I don't measure this stuff it's just how you like it you don't have to all add in all this you could just leave it at salt and pepper and be done but we like to add in a little bit of extra stuff next is gonna be some ground mustard um, we just really like the flavor it gives mac and cheese so i do a little bit of that and then i'm going to do a little bit of paprika i'm going to stir this up and then this is going to cook on manual for five minutes and then we're gonna do a quick release. Okay, this just got done. I did a quick release and all the pressure is released. So now I'm going to open it up. I've got some milk. I'm gonna do half a cup to a cup, just add it in a little bit at a time until it's kind of like the consistency I want. And we're gonna add in some cheese i'm probably going to use all of this cheese but i'm going to add it in a little bit at a time stirring between each handful to make sure it doesn't get too clumpy
okay here is my plate i've got salmon mac and cheese the broccoli and then i also sliced up tomato so i've got that with some salt and pepper on it we've got plenty of food the kids are splitting a piece of salmon but lately anytime i make it they usually want more and i wasn't making enough before so that's why i made six pieces so there would be enough if they want more and if Andy wants to take leftovers tomorrow. I mean, wants to. And for Andy to take leftovers tomorrow, because he always takes leftovers. But this is Elijah's no tomato, and this is Lily's with tomato. But that is going to be dinner for Friday. It is Saturday, and today I am trying a recipe for pork carnitas. And this is going to cook in the crock pot. That's why we've got that. It's going to cook all day. And then at the very end, you will take out the pork, shred it up, and broil it. So I've never made this recipe before. Hoping it turns out good. Pork carnitas is really, really good. I had this pork roast already in the freezer and I wanted to use it up. So that's what this is. It's a boneless pork loin roast. And I removed the fat from the bottom side of it. It said to remove any excess fat you could. So I removed that. Got that in there. We're going to make a little bit of a rub using some cumin, oregano, pepper, salt, and the garlic and some this is some diced jalapeno it said green chilies all i could find was uh, jalapeno so i just diced it up really finely and then it also said a whole head of garlic but i didn't buy fresh garlic i'm just going to use a big heaping amount of minced garlic and then we've got some lime we're going to juice that and then just throw the whole lime in there so oranges we're going to juice those and then just throw the whole oranges in there and some onion and we're just going to lay that on top of the meat it's pretty easy. As I said, I sliced up my onion, diced up my jalapeno. We're just going to let that cook all day on low, so about eight hours. And then we'll come back later and see what it looks like. But I'm going to go ahead and make my little rub in this bowl and get that rubbed all over the meat. All right, it has been just over eight hours. This has been cooking all day. I have not touched it. So what we're going to do now is remove the pork and shred it. I'm going to remove it and put it in my KitchenAid and shred it that way. And then it says we're gonna discard all of the solids, the onions, the oranges, all of the solids in there. We're gonna strain them out so that we just have the liquid. And then we're gonna pour that liquid over the meat and broil it. So I've got my pan lined with foil. It says a low broil so that the meat can get kind of crispy because we want crispy bits in our pork carnitas. I'm not sure exactly how long this is going to take. I'm going to guess five to ten minutes on that low broil, not high broil. So I'm going to go ahead and get my meat out of here and into my KitchenAid so we can get it all shredded up. Thank you. 
Okay, here's our pork carnitas. Uh, I broiled it for like 10 minutes. It's got some crispy bits, not too much. I might stick it back in there, but we were ready to eat. So that's that. And I tasted it. It tastes delicious. And I forgot to mention, my house also smells amazing from that orange and lime cooking in the crock pot all day. So it's just amazing in my house. And then I made our Instant Pot Spanish rice. I will have the link to this down below as always. This is super delicious. And then I just made a can of black beans. So these are the kids' bowls. Kind of got it separated on there. And then some cheese on top. And this is the queso quesadilla cheese. And then here is mine. Not a super pretty meal. But, you know, it's like a burrito bowl. So I've got the rice, the beans, the pork, the queso quesadilla cheese, some of this pico, some of this pico from Walmart, and then some sour cream. And that is going to be dinner for Saturday. Tonight's dinner, I'm just kind of winging it. I had this Asiago roasted garlic smoked sausage in the freezer that I got at Kroger on Markdown and I wanted to use it up. So I'm gonna make a pasta dish with this. And I'm gonna slice this up and fry it in a pan with a little bit of butter and some more minced garlic, cause you know we like garlic. And then I've got some marinara sauce for my sauce. And then I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream, I think, and some Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to boil some water and cook this ravioli while my sausage is cooking. And then once everything's done, I'll add the ravioli in with the sausage and the sauce. And I think this is gonna turn out good. Let's hope. Not following any kind of recipe. Just gonna throw some stuff together tonight and see how it goes. I started off by adding one tablespoon of butter to my pan with about a tablespoon of minced garlic. I let that saute for about a minute. And in a separate pot, I cooked the ravioli according to the package directions. Then I added in my sausage that I sliced up and I cooked that till it started to get crispy. Next, I added in the sauce, heavy cream, and Parmesan cheese. Once my ravioli was done, I stirred that in as well. Okay, the ravioli is done. I will be sure to let you guys know how I like this. I have not tried it yet. I did like taste the sauce and the sauce tasted good, but it's a matter of if we like the sausage and everything went together. So this is Andy's. He's just got some salad to go with it. Romaine lettuce, tomato, carrot, Parmesan cheese, all garden dressing, Elijah's salad, carrots and cucumbers on the side, and then Parmesan cheese and all garden dressing on his lettuce. His bowl, Lily's bowl, and I used my kitchen shears to kind of cut theirs up because the raviolis are like way too big for them. So they'll use a spoon and it'll be easier for them to eat. And then here's my salad. Looks the same as Andy's except I have cucumber and my bowl of ravioli. It is Monday and tonight for dinner we are going to be having salads with chicken and bacon and hard boiled egg and of course some other things. But I am cooking some chicken right now. I'm doing it the way I always do it. If you've been here a while you've seen this many many times because this is how I like always cook chicken for salads so this is two chicken breasts I sliced it in half horizontally to make it thin they'll cook up really really fast and then I have seasoned them with some body complete and some slap your mama sometimes I do slap your mama sometimes I do Tony's I think they pretty much taste the same so I will probably buy whichever one's cheaper next time I buy like a Cajun seasoning so yeah, they pretty much taste the same to me. 
Um, so I'm going to cook these up. I've got a little bit of olive oil in here and some butter. And yeah, then we will have our salads. As I said, I made bacon. I made it this morning for breakfast. I cooked it in the oven and we had some leftovers. And then I cook the eggs in the Instant Pot. I do the 555 method. So I will leave instructions for that down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this cooked up and then I will show you our salads. Okay, here is my salad. I've got lettuce, tomato, carrot, chicken, bacon, cucumber, hard boiled egg. I have blue cheese instead of cheddar cheese and I have croutons and then I'm gonna top it with some ranch dressing. And then here are the kids plates. If you've been here a while, you know Lily does not eat lettuce. So she's got all of the salad stuff on her plate. Um, she's got cheddar cheese instead of blue cheese. And then Elijah has bacon, chicken, cucumber, carrot, lettuce, he does not like tomato, chicken, I already said chicken, and croutons. And uh, yeah, those are gonna be our salads for dinner. Okay, I am winging it again tonight, just gonna throw something together. I had beef enchiladas on the meal plan, but I don't feel like making that. Um, I don't, it's not that I don't want enchiladas, I just don't wanna do the work for enchiladas cooking the meat and then rolling everything up and then baking it in the oven. So I'm gonna make an enchilada pasta. It'll be one pan and should be a lot easier and faster than making enchiladas. So I've got my beef here. I'm gonna cook that up with some garlic and taco seasoning and onion powder. And because this is lean, there probably won't be like any grease to drain off of it. So once that's cooked, I'm gonna add in my big old can of enchilada sauce I'm going to drain and rinse my black beans and add those in and some Rotel. I've got two cups of elbow noodles and then I've got two cups of chicken broth or water with the chicken bouillon. And I think that'll be enough liquid, but I'm going to see how it looks. If it's not, I will add another cup of broth and then I'll just like simmer that until the noodles are done. And then we'll add in some cheese, of course, at the very end. I think this would be good with like olives or something too, but my family doesn't like olives. So hoping this turns out good. I started off by browning my beef with garlic and taco seasoning and onion powder. Once the beef was browned, I added in my beans, my tomatoes, enchilada sauce, broth, and noodles, and I brought that to a boil. Once it came to a boil, I reduced the heat, covered and simmered for about 10 minutes till my noodles were done. Once the noodles were cooked, I added in some cheese. I used a couple of slices of pepper jack that I just wanted to use up and some cheddar cheese. Okay, here are our bowls. Just keeping it simple with just that tonight. Quick and easy. It was so easy to put together and so quick to put together. Um, once it was simmering, it took like 10 minutes for the noodles to be done, which is awesome. I will definitely have the recipe instructions listed down below, what I did, and I already tasted it and it tastes so good. So definitely recommend that. It is Wednesday and tonight for dinner we are having a sweet and sour chicken and a fried rice. I've shared this recipe many, many times, at least three times step by step, so that's why I'm not showing step by step today. So I have a link to the blog post where I found the sweet and sour chicken 
and then I will have a link to the video where I've shared the fried rice before. But yeah, pretty easy dinner and super delicious. That is going to be dinner for Wednesday. For Thursday night's dinner, we had meatball subs. I put about half of a frozen bag of meatballs. These are the Walmart ones. I put that in my crock pot with some pasta sauce. This sauce is some that I made a big batch of and this was in my freezer. This is the last one. And I cooked this on a low for four hours. And then when I did my grocery order, they didn't have any sub rolls, so I decided that I was going to make my own because I really wanted meatball subs. I'll have the recipe that I used linked below. They turned out great. I just really need to work on shaping them. I'm starting off by proofing my two and a quarter teaspoon of yeast with two tablespoons of sugar and one quarter cup and two tablespoons of warm water. I let that sit and bloom for about 10 minutes. Then I added in two cups of flour and another cup of warm water. I mixed that for four minutes. Then I added in one teaspoon of salt and another cup of flour. The recipe says three and a half to four cups of flour. I did close to three and a half cups. This recipe called for the dough to be slack, so I added in a few more tablespoons of warm water and mixed for five minutes. Then I added in four tablespoons of cold butter and let that mix in till all the butter was mixed. Then I covered the bowl and let the dough rise for one hour. After an hour, I punched the dough down and placed on a floured surface. I attempted to shape into four pieces, but it didn't do a great job. I let those rise for another 30 minutes and then I baked them in a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Okay, here is dinner for tonight. Mine is still in the toaster oven, so I cut the bread. I didn't do the greatest job like rolling this out and forming it, so it's kind of wider than I wanted it to be. So this is what we're working with, and I cut it in half, put some mozzarella cheese and some meatballs on there, and then toasted it in the toaster oven with it open so that the cheese would get nice and melty. And then I just made some roasted potatoes with some garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper on there. And that is going to be dinner for Thursday.
And that is going to be it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I did something different. I didn't just strictly follow recipes this week. I just threw stuff together, which is not what I usually do. But please make sure you go check out Brittany's channel, link down below, Sharing Our Life. I know that you guys will like her. You always talk about how you like my realness, and she is real too. Just sharing the everyday mom life. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!